Hi all, this is Nikki with Two Fro Chicks and uh, before I start my Bantu knots, I like to put my shea butter concoction in my hair. A little mixture I made myself. It's shea butter, coconut oil, and olive oil. You just uh, microwave the coconut oil and the olive oil together until they melt. You mix in the olive oil, let it set, and then it comes out really creamy and smooth. So you rub it all throughout your hair. You get your ends, the body, the scalp, the root. Just go ahead and put that mixture all over your hair. Or if you have like another moisturizer that you like to use, just go ahead and use that as well. Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. Shake it. Okay. I also like to get a headband or you can use a clip as well to kind of separate the um, hair. So I'm going to section my hair now in different um, pieces to start my Bantu knots. Now, the smaller the Bantu knot, the tighter the curl. The in-between Bantu knot gives you a medium-sized curl. and I'm doing the medium-sized Bantu knots. And then the larger the Bantu knots, it gives you more of a wavy type, uh, type look. I like to twist it all the way down to the ends, obviously. You don't have to twist it. You, you can just like use the, you can just bantu knot your hair as it is without twisting it. But I like to give it more of a body, more definition. So I twist mine and then I normally like double twist it to make it tight. So when I twist that bantu knot, it stays. So now I'm going to twirl it around. Now don't do it too, too tight now. Just don't do it too tight because if you do it too tight, you're going to pull your edges and you don't want to pull your edges. So just do it where it's comfortable, where you can lay down, you can move your forehead and it's not going to hurt. So just don't, don't pull your edges, please. We need to save our edges. So again, I go to another section, separate the hair, start twisting. And um, there we go. Now I do this every two nights. I do this when I see that my curl pattern is perhaps fading away, then I do my Bantu knots to give it back that volume and that consistency. So twist it down to the ends. Then I like to double twist it, kind of like twist it to make it tight. So when I uh, when I do my Bantu knots, it stays and it's not too loose. You don't want it too loose because it's not going to have that definition. Kind of want to do it tight, wrap it around, and then when you take it out, which you'll see, you'll get that look that you want. And don't forget, throughout the day, you know, your hair gets fuzzy or bigger or whatnot. So it's always good to have, have the Bantu knots tight and then um, throughout the day, you'll see how your hair reacts to it. Now, I did more some more Bantu knots. And you can see they're medium size. They're not too big. This normally takes me about 15 minutes to do. I normally have my TV on. Maybe, maybe I'm watching The Scandal or I'm watching Master Chef, you know, but I'm normally watching something to kind of make the time go away some or have on some music. Who knows? But I always keep myself a little entertained with some kind of a media device to keep me distracted. So it takes me about 15 minutes to to uh, get this done so you twist it around twist it around go ahead and create a Bantu knot there you go don't do it too tight now again just don't do it too tight because your head's gonna be pounding like crazy just do it really nice and loose but where it stays okay now I'm all done don't y'all like that ah, don't y'all like that so I'm all done now gonna go to sleep and uh whoo, I'm awake it's the next day <laughs> so go ahead and unravel the knots do it really soft don't pull on it just don't pull on your hair now just do it really soft it should unravel softly and gently and you see the ends are curly that's what I love about Bantu knots the ends are always curly it gives you like a curly finish and when you unravel it and you um separate the strands it gives you a really big fro, which is what I love. I love the big fro. So again, the more that you unravel the hair strands, the more volumized your fro is. And um, that's all I have for you. So enjoy and um, 
Happy froling. Bye.